Hey folks, it's Nick and Mitch. Hi. And we've just come back from watching Machete. Or Machete, as people would like to say. Uh, directed and uh, actually performed partly by Robert Rodriguez. The funny thing is, is that Robert Rodriguez is part of the Chingon band who, uh, who uh, actually did a lot of the music for this movie. As a movie done in the Grand House way of life, uh, I liked it. I really did. It actually surpassed what I expected of it. Of course, it's over the top like anything, but can't complain. They had lots of uh, running gags and uh, some satisfying scenes for um, killing, gore, a lot naked of Naked women, everything. Naked women? Yeah, well, some naked women, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the weird thing about it, I'm still not getting why they decided to cast Lindsay Lohan as one of the actresses for this uh, yeah, particular I know. movie. Yeah, they could have found somebody better than her. Yeah. Uh, they had uh, Michelle Rodriguez playing a part in it. They had uh, Jeff Fahey playing a part in it. Robert De Niro playing a part in it. Steven Seagal playing a part in it. Although there is no... Uh, this time around compared to other movies, there was no way to hide his girth. They couldn't have squeezed him in a girdle even if they would have wanted to. <laughs> so they put him in a very big shirt to at least hide some yeah, of the corpulence. If it bigger, it would have been a kimono. Yeah, that's true. If it would have been any bigger, folks, it would have been a kimono. And trust me. The funny thing is, is that he commits seppuku somewhere in the movie. And you'll see where if you actually go to see it. Uh, not that bad. Uh, there the, is one scene that's that bad. The movie itself was appealing for me because I know Spanish, I speak and listen to it, and I, re I read it, I write it. And it was fun to actually hear Mexican slang being used in a movie uh, that dealt with the immigration issues between Texas and Mexico. Uh, and also the drug issues currently be between both countries. But the movie itself was, what, two hours? Give or take, it was a 12.40. Yeah, it's about two hours. We can't say anything about the end credits because the bastard theater decided to cut the end credits. And, and I mean, right at the end, you hear the porno music playing, so you know something good is coming. But we didn't get to see it. Yep. So fuck you, Paramount Theater! Yeah, so anyways, folks. Actually, no, it's, it's Empire Theaters. Why, why am I saying Paramount? Paramount, well, Paramount was the Paramount Theater downtown. Yes. It's so fuck you, Empire Theaters! Yeah. That's a first for Michelle, folks, saying the F word. French Dalama to you folks that really do agree with uh, Paramount or whatever theater, this bunch of whatever. I'm not one for violence. Oh, fuck them all with an iron rod. Oh. Well, that said, folks, this is the movie. You have to go and see it. If you, uh, if you love Quentin Tarantino, if you love Eli Roth, you'll love Robert Rodriguez, and you'll love Machete. It's worth a romp in the hay. It's a wild romp in the hay, actually, now that I think about it. The only thing that you don't see is sex scenes, and that's pretty much it. And swearing, well, the swearing was done by everyone except Machete. He might have swore in Spanish, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, he didn't. Okay. As far as I know. Because I had no idea what he was saying when he was talking Steven in Seagal was swearing quite a lot. Oh, yes, he was. In, in Spanish. Mm. That's the worst part. And the worst part is that he actually fit the bill for a Mexican drug lord. I still don't know how or why, but he did. So, from me, there's two thumbs up. I'm not gonna see it again in theaters, but when it comes out on DVD, I'll purchase, probably purchase, purchase it. Purchase, yes. And uh, for Mitch, two thumbs up too. And some crooked twisted fingers too. Yeah. So, please bring your girlfriend or boyfriend if you have any pensions. And for guys this. out there, if your girlfriend drags you, go see Eat, Pray, Love. Drag him to go see Machete yes, afterwards. for revenge. <laughs> If you felt emasculated by that movie, this will make up for it. I couldn't care if I feel emasculated by Eat, Pray, Love. I love the movie. And Mitch stays, stays, sits silently, says nothing, he turns his head away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, well, with that, I think that's enough. We'll wish you a happy weekend uh, for those that are in the Maritimes. Hopefully, you're untouched, unfazed by uh, Hurricane. Uh, well, tropical Earl. storm Earl, or tropical depressions uh, Earl, or 
Or bag of pissy rain, Earl, whatever he's called now. Bag of pissy rain? I don't know. What, what, how would you describe a bag of... Anyways, this is enough, folks. We'll describe that later. This is where it comes from. Yeah. Have if a nice one. St. John, it would smell like that. <laughs> Have a nice one.